Hello everyone, here you are listening Dr. Vivin Kumar. Today we will discuss series 5 of the agronomy. Here we will discuss most frequently asked question in agronomy. The first question I will start from here. The de-suckering is a process in which commercial crop? Your answer is tobacco. Actually after the topping of this tobacco, there will be the, a used lateral auxiliary bud formation and lateral branches formation will be there. But actually, in the tobacco cultivation, we are not interested to harvest the this flower and seeds. We are totally uh, interested to the towards the leaf formation. That's why we remove this such lateral branches and suckers or auxiliary bird. And this process is called de suckering process. Okay, why we do this? Uh, we do because we want to divert the energy and nutrient from the flower head toward the leaves. So that's why the, the leaf will become big and having good luster and that uh, that can be uh, having a good market value in the market so farmers will get more price that's why we do topping then after that de process again i'm moving towards the second question the second question is saying that bench racing is mostly practiced on slope ranging between your answer is 16 to 33 percent what happened when we want to do the cultivation in hilly area or undulated area it is very tough if the slope is 16 to 33 percent. So what we do, we do here, we give the shape like this. This is the, your bench stretch formation. What we do here, we remove the soil from here, we cut the soil from here and then put the here. And this will take the shape of this. this. And the area in between this, uh, your soldier and, and this, is called your bench portion. So in this bench portion, we can do the cultivation of the crop. And this, if we want to um, make the bench dressing, the area should having a good soil depth. Because if the, it will uh, it will not having a good soil depth, then unproductive soil will be exposed. And that unproductive soil will be if exposed, then in that area we cannot take the cultivation of the crop because uh, crop production will be hampered. So if you see that after that it will be looks like this and in between this area we can take the crop. So we will intensify the uh, hilly and undulated area by this bench dressing process and this is the ultimately our aim of this bench dressing to uh, intensify the hilly area and actually this is the uh, engineering process and now I am moving towards the next, next question. Next question is saying that example of absolute wheat your answer is cypress rotundus actually cypress rotundus sometimes called as a nut grass and this is the, your uh, common name of this cypress rotundus and this is belong to the family cypressi that's why it is a, a species of sedge and if we see this origin of this cypress rotundus we will find this native africa southern central europe and southern asia is the most probably center of origin because this uh, diversity of this uh, cypress rotundus maximally found in this area so that's why it is a most probably the center of origin of the this cypress rotundus here the confusion is that what is the absolute weight if you see the definition it is showing that it is saying that it is the totally weedy in nature means it is not going to be uh, going to be used by farmer in any form or in any circumstances means it is totally weed uh, weedy in nature it is not going to uh, helpful for the farmer in any circumstances that's why it is called absolute weed if you see the problem uh, across the world it is affecting about 92 countries in 52 crops so it is one of the most problematic weed among the different weeds and it is ranked number one when it, it, it will grow inside the soil in the soil it will form the fleshy rhizome and this fleshy rhizomes will convert into bulb like structure and this will take the shape if you uproot the root of the cypress root dust you will see that th there will be the chain of the different bulbs on the root and that's why its management or control is very tough if suppose you uprooted this and one bulb is remain inside the soil that will take the form of cypress root dust that's why its management control is very tough now I am moving toward the next question. Next question is saying that biologically first time which weed was controlled? Your answer is Lantana camera. Actually this is the prickly shrub and it was first time introduced as an ornamental uh, purpose in Hawaiian island around 80 to 16th century. But it become a weed 
and it's taken the very widest spread in even cropped and non-cropped area. Even if you talk in India also, it was introduced as an ornamental plant. And if you see in the history, uh, 19th, 20th century, it was the first time the biologically it was tried to control. And in Australia, if you see, then this is the control by two beetle. First is the Octotoma scabri penis and other is a Europlata giraldi. And these are two beetles that have been used by in Australia for the control of the Lantana camara. So this, these were all uh, questions and their discussion what I did here. So on the basis of this, I am going to put uh, 10 questions in front of you. Please you pause the video and write down and write down the answer of this. So this is your answer. I think in, you enjoyed this video and you understand too. And if you want to uh, benefit your friend too, you can share it on your Facebook or uh, Twitter. And uh, if you want to know update about the agriculture, you can go and like my Facebook page, Dr. Vipin Kumar. You can also follow me on my Agro Vipin IRI Twitter. And for knowing or watching more uh, related video in the future, please you subscribe here and say your friend too to subscribe here because it is very beneficial for the you people. And till that, thank you for watching my video.